Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Koei, joined by Tara Kirk. What's up? We've got two special interviews today. Wow, that's great, Jabby Koei. We've got two special interviews for you today from Andor. So we're going to be interviewing Kyle Soller and Adria Arjona, who are both in the show. They are very, very brief interviews, yes. but uh, they're fun, and I screwed up big time, and you get to laugh at me. <laughs> Hello, Adria. Uh, Adria. I was so nervous about getting your name right, I completely messed it up. So, you didn't, no, 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 <laughs> I am Jabby Koei, and this is Achar Kirk. We're with Get Jabby. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Hey, nice to meet you, both. On a scale of insanely jealous to crazy supportive, what was Phoebe Fox's response when she found out about you booking Andor? I love it. The wife gets a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can we push it up to 11? Like, she, she was crazy supportive. Going off of your Insta, you're a very beachy person. How tough was London weather for you? It was tough. It was tough. I, I can't lie. It, it was really, it was really something. I'm from Puerto Rico. I turn into a pumpkin in the cold. But you know, you just have to power through. And, you know, under my vest and under my costume, there's multiple heating pads. Oh, wow. Everybody wasn't cold. Everyone, like the directors, were like in a shirt like you're wearing. And I, <laughs> I've experienced it before, so I knew what I was going to get myself into. So I made sure that my costumes were. Yeah. Awesome well enough to pack on a bunch of heating pads. Your character in the show, Cyril Khan, he's at times infuriatingly annoying, at least to me. On a, like, how annoying are you in real life? Or what are the most annoying things that you do in real life? I don't think you're alone in, in finding him incredibly annoying. I even <laughs> found him annoying to, to kind of deal with day to day sometimes. <laughs> My level of annoyance is probably a lot higher than I realize. <laughs> <laughs> Probably think you're getting by, you know, showing people a good time, but they're actually like, oh man, well, that guy like fucking just shut up for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Other than you being in it, uh, what to you makes this Star Wars story special when compared to its predecessors? I think it's incredibly human. I think it's a story about people and I think it's incredibly relatable. I think every character unfolds on the screen as the show continues and you really get to kind of get a sneak peek behind everyone's true life. Like a person working for the Empire, you'll get to know what happens when that person goes home and yeah. or with the Bix, what happens after she she's done working. and. And that was really cool and interesting to me. I hadn't seen that before. There's a level of intimacy and grittiness and darkness that's such a big part of this show. And it's the reason why I love it so much. You often have the, these very, very interesting expressions and it feels like there's always something like very curious on your mind and it's got me wondering about you. And then I stopped and thought, I'm like, is he actually thinking about like what his character's thinking about or is he just thinking about craft services and when he can eat again? I'm thinking about the, the, the Star Wars blue noodles, man. Uh, you know, and, and my, which you'll see later on, my my space Cocoa Pops, you know, like uh -huh. that, I, that I get to eat with uh, with my mother. So there are a lot of action scenes in Andor. Did you have to do any additional training or are you already that badass? Because I saw as well that you're like really into fitness. I did a little bit. Yes, I did a little bit of, of training, like in the trailer that you see the whole big running scene. I thought I was really badass and it's kind of cold and the stunt coordinator was doing another scene and then he's like oh you the running scene's next like you need to stretch and i was coming from like an emotional point so i was like God. i need a second to like wind down i don't need to stretch i run all the time i'm fine and i my leg went oh and I was, no I, yes i was running because I, I didn't realize that i was gonna have to run that fast and i have to match the energy of the camera and i'm running and at the end of it my leg just goes like Doom. oh no and I was like, oh, good God. So I like, they gave me a banana and I really stretched and then I was able to do it a couple times. So no, I'm really not that bad. Okay. <laughs> so one of the really cool things about the show is that you actually got to shoot on some really amazing physical sets and on locations. What was that like actually stepping onto the set and being in the world? That was incredible because I've never worked on something with that level of scope and detail. Like the scale of it was unbelievable. And we were filming it in the middle of the pandemic and, you know, supposed to be flying around all these places. And one of Tony Gilroy's intentions was always to harken back to, to how Star Wars originally was done, you know, build more and everything. But it gave a lot of really talented, creative people a creative problem to, to overcome. I mean, the set of Ferrix is actually a built like 360 degree, like acre wide set. Wow. Yeah. You can run anywhere you want. Yeah. go anywhere and they can film it because yeah. every single corner 
Every drawer and cupboard has detail in it, has life in it. Yeah. And like, that was just wild. That was wild. Yeah. It's like a director going like, yeah, go anywhere you want. It's like, really? <laughs> you have to direct me? He's like, yeah, no, no, whatever you want. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, just real quick, we saw four episodes of the show so far. You've probably seen our non-spoiler, honest thoughts thing that's just like initial impressions of the show. Yes. From that, you must have heard that uh, I love the crap out of it. And we love the crap. Everyone. We all loved the crap out of the show. It's But I loved it more. Achara said, I like it. You know, out of 10, I like it 10. And I'm like, well, I'm 14. Okay. There you go. So we really enjoyed it. Hope that you guys will watch it and come back and watch our reactions to it as well. 14 and a half. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. <laughs> I was like, what are you even talking about? And then I realized it took me a second. I was like, who? 14 and a half, what? Out of 10. You guys, if you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. This way you get notified when we drop each of our reactions to each episode of Andor. You can join our Patreon page or become a member of this channel so that you can watch the whole thing with us without cuts or interruptions. But you will need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. It'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. Well, three, actually. Three. Oh, that's right. Three. Well, yeah. us two are here. But anyway, you're messing this up, Char. The thing is, uh, if you join our Patreon memberships, we give you a three, two, one countdown sync to make it easy for you to sync up the show with our reaction. And it really is like you're in the room with us watching it. Yeah. And you can, you know, elbow Achara every five minutes. What's going on? Like I did. Just kidding. I didn't do that. I know what's going on. I know more than Achara does. You do. Uh -huh. Yeah. When it comes to Star Wars, definitely. Everything else Achara knows more. So anyway, um, <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Subscribe. Bell icon, please. All notifications. I said you that. You already said that. Yeah. Anyway. And vote this up. So, you know, lets YouTube know that uh, you're enjoying what you're watching and helps us keep the lights on. <laughs> I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is <laughs> Achara Cook. Peace out.